posh professional here with me today and they've bought some tools from their woodworkers toolkit. I've been using Bosch tools for years and we're going to use some of my tools and some of the new things they brought with them for me to try. So let's get on with a couple of new projects. So for the first project, I'm going to make a rustic console table. I've got some reclaimed pallet wood for this. I need a straight edge on it, so I'm going to use a hand plane to put that on, and then I'm going to get all the bits ripped down on the 18 volt table saw. So for the tabletop, we're going for a herringbone pattern. I've got all the bits ripped, but now I need to cut them to length on the mitre saw. All these bits now need attaching to a plywood backer board, and that means I get to try out a new toy. I mean tool, and that's an 18 volt nail gun. So that's the pattern complete, and this thing really sped up the process. So now I've got to trim one edge flush with the track saw. Now with one straight edge, I can reference that off the fence of the table saw, rip down the other side so it's parallel with the first. I'd put the Expert for Wood blade on and that has left a really lovely smooth cut. Both the sides are parallel to each other but the ends need trimming and I'm going to get that done on the mitre saw. So with it trimmed down I've now got my plywood exposed so I want to put a frame around it with mitre corners, so I'm going to get that done on the mitre saw. Now, with all the bits for the frame cut, I can get some glue applied and get them nailed into place. I've been using these traditional sanding pads for years, but I've got the new Bosch M480 net kit. So I'm gonna get that installed and give it a test. The kit comes with a pad saver. So first, I'm gonna get that installed, then I can get the mesh put on and give this a go. To finish this, I've got some hairpin legs, so I'm going to get those put into place and then mark out the screw holes. Then I'm going to get drilled for some threaded inserts. I've been using some Bosch multi construction bits. They're supposed to be able to drill through everything, so I was a bit dubious of how they're performing wood, but they've left a really clean hole in there. Everything I've used today to build this has been Bosch 18 volt tools. I switched over to cordless tools a couple of years ago and it's been a game changer for me. They've got as much power as corded tools without the hassle of the cords. So I've been really impressed with Bosch's Woodworkers Toolkit and every tool I needed to complete this project and it was all in 18 volt. Mm.